Okay, I installed a water protection device in my K40 laser here. I've got an OM Tech branded Prenex uh, K40. And I got a Cloudray HT30. And I just have it hanging loose right now because I wanted to make sure it wasn't leaking and I wanted to make sure it was working. Because when I'm all done, I'm gonna stick this mount way back up under here against the back wall and mount this thing. And there's no reason to do all that and find out it's leaking and have to go back in there. So at any rate, I've got inlet water coming in. This is going to the laser tube. I made sure I don't have any bubbles. I've got this thing wired to the power supply over here. It's connected to the P and the G. And obviously I don't have the wiring routed permanently here. I'll properly route that once I test this. So what I'm gonna do right now I'm just going to sit down. I've got uh, a light burn going on and I am going to do a test fire right now. And as you can see, okay, don't criticize where the circle's at. I don't know why it's not centered, but eh, there's a lot of slop here. I'll have to work on that later. At any rate, it's firing. So now you may have to take my word for it because I don't have enough hands to do this, but I'm going to crimp the inlet line with my fingers. I'm just gonna lay the phone down for just a second and I'm gonna do a test fire, test fire, test fire, test fire. And I got nothing but the same dot. Now I'm gonna release the inlet tube and let's give it another pulse. And it definitely pulses. So <clears throat> I've installed a water protection device. Uh, the HT30 cost about 10 bucks, and most places car cost uh, charge shipping, so it'll be a little more than that, 15 or 20 bucks by the time you get it. So it works, it's a piece of cake. I just had to splice the wire here, and then I had to add one more splice in here to make the wiring long enough. I, I got a connector kit that was 300 millimeters long, and it had a female JST connector that plugs right into the P and the G. Polarity doesn't matter, it's just a switch. Uh, the HT30 is a normally open switch, which means it breaks the circuit if there's no water. And then when water flows, it, it closes and then connects and allows the laser to fire. So if water flow gets interrupted, the laser won't fire. Uh, an awful lot of people take water flow meters and mount them here so they can see and it's usually got like a green spinny thing and you can see that the water's flowing and that's good until it ain't flowing and uh got some serious excitement going on here guard dogs uh until the water's not flowing so you would have to watch it 100 percent of the time and then be there to stop it otherwise your laser tube will just keep firing even though there's no water flowing so that's it, HT30 installed in the K40.